Hey everyone, and welcome to Hi, My Name is Podcast. Today we're going to be playing Hawken. Um, Hawken is a first-person shooter mecha game. It's completely free-to-play. The graphics are actually surprisingly good, considering it's a free-to-play game. Uh, I mean, even for a paid game, I, I, I would be impressed. Uh, everything's pretty smooth. It's, it's, um, I've only played it a little bit so far. I've played two games. Uh, as you can see, I have two mechs over here. One's a, a test drive one. And this is the basic one you start with. Uh, now, when you play the games, you can go in and customize your mech because uh, you earn what we call, that they call Hawken points. And Hawken points you can spend to buy new weapons, uh, you know, new support items, whatever these countermeasures and stuff like that are, uh, which I haven't actually really looked into a whole lot yet. Um, you also get upgrades as you level up. You gain experience with each mech, and then the mechs benefit from uh, that experience. Now. I'm not sure if this is supposed to apply crosswire mechs, but when I was playing with a test drive, it leveled up separately from my other mech. So I'm guessing this is more like um, individual per mech type, and, and each mech type does uh, different things from what I understand. Uh, they also have a body shop here. You can use uh, this M stuff, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be called, but it's just like real money uh, that you spend, you get these points. And all they really do is, they look like they just change the aesthetic. I don't think they actually change how you physically perform. Uh, you can also, you know, buy some for style. They're, they're going to fill that in soon. There's like uh, different skins and all that. Um, you can change this uh, trim here for free. Which, it's, it's okay. It's not that surprising. Um, anyways, as the mech levels up, you get optimization points. Uh, these points are much like a skill tree in MMOs. They basically affect overall how your your character functions. And you've got you know your offensive capability, your damage, and all that. Your defensive capability, pretty obvious, and your movement. Um, I have earned four points so far. You start with one, and then you gain one more per level. Uh, again, as far as I'm aware at this point. Uh, so I've put three into reducing damage. So I take like 0.16% less damage per point. Uh, and I increased my weapon damage by 0.16%. Not huge, but, you know, I, I figured more defensive because being fairly new to this, I want to be able to take more hits and kind of be a little more lenient on me than, than damage. Damage I can always run and hide and, you know, shoot them some more. Um, but anyways, uh, that's about it. Think, yeah, you can go in here, you can buy more stuff. Okay, yeah, you can use real money for that as well. Instead of like paying with the pocket points, which you earn per game, you can spend your real money on new weapons and gear and all that. And each one kind of does a different thing and works in a different way. Alright, so we're going to jump into a matchmaking game here. Um, there's four different matchmaking types. There's team death match, which is pretty obvious. It's two teams, they go against each other and they fight. I'm not sure the exact numbers, I haven't tried it out yet. There's normal death match where you have all the players against each other, free for all. Not too crazy about this because, like most, you know, all around death matches, you get a lot of people who are just taking pop kills where, you know, you'll be getting attacked from five different sides and there's just not as much skill, I think, involved. Um, but these are the two I prefer. I haven't had a chance to play Missile Assault yet, but I have played Siege, and so far I love Siege. Uh, Siege is an objective game type where essentially you're going and collecting energy, uh, both teams. Once you've collected energy, you upload it at your base, which eventually launches your main mothership. Uh, once your mothership has been locked, uh, once your mothership has uh, been launched, you've got to protect a anti-aerial uh, device. What's going on here? One sec. So Siege is an objective game game type where both tides, uh, sides are trying to collect energy and they have to bring it back to their base. Um, so basically, you go to these little energy stations. You uh, oh, okay. you go to these little energy stations. You fill up with energy and then you bring it back to your base where it uploads it to your mothership. Uh, and the mothership um, gets launched once you collect it enough. Then you have to defend the anti-aerial, whether the opponent launched theirs or you launched yours uh, station, which basically launches missiles and helps destroy the other uh, helps destroy.
destroy the other ship. Uh, once a ship is destroyed, you can go back and collect energy again. Um, it's interesting so far. I haven't fully, you know, mastered it by any means in two games, but I feel I'm, I'm getting a, a hang of it. So you do a lot of things as you can, uh, you gotta watch your fuel gauge, which you'll see is kind of in the bottom middle of the screen. Uh, the little yellow thing with the meter on it. That's how much you can boost around. Uh, to the left of that with the you see the 590, that's actually your health. And then, like, now I'm repairing. Um, repairing, you just, like, hold C and the thing comes out and repairs. It's interesting because you lose your radar and it track everything that's going on. But it, the good part is it, uh, you know, heals your health up pretty fast. You just can't get shot while you're doing it because the animation takes so long to get out that you can let them out. A good player will have killed you or injured you so badly that you're basically going to die if you start firing back at them. So we've got a full tank of energy, a couple of them, uh, 200 total. You can leave it any time and we'll upload it. Then we got to get back here. Now you need 800 initially to launch your uh, vessel. Each uh, each uh, mech can hold 200, maybe more if they get upgrades, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't looked at all the upgrades yet. But you can see on the top left, that white meter, it says, you know, going down from 500 something. Uh, that's ours. Once it gets to, to zero, it'll launch our ship, which will traverse across that um, raised middle line. Once it gets to the other side, it'll bomb the enemy's base. Each base has a health of about 3k. I don't know if that ever changes uh, with different maps or not. I've only played this in one other. But I'm assuming it's probably always just 3k. So we only need 67 left. So at this point... I'm gonna, gonna let someone else take care of it. I'm gonna head for the anti-air station because this is uh, essentially what's going to stop them from uh, that doesn't happen again. It's got a little respawn wait time here. Oh, let's go with my Cthulhu. I don't want to go with the other one. I don't want to level up the test drive one, because what test drive is, they essentially give you the other mech types that you can play for free for a while. Um, but you can't, at least that I'm aware, you can't go and customize them with the experience you've earned. So, I don't know if the experience you've earned carries over once you've bought them, uh, or what, but I don't know if they pull up what I have. Backwards, like you think it would, it flips your 180, which isn't bad, it's just hard to get you. 
stuns for a while until they recover. So we're gonna get to a uh, energy refill station now because uh, our ship's almost there. And it's, it's hurting their base. If you can see in the top right.